The new if syntax inside of CSS allows you to do some really interesting stuff. For example, here I'm creating a custom variable that has either the value small, medium, or large based on the size of my screen, and then I'm able to use that variable other places. So you can see here I'm able to change between a solid, a dotted, and a dashed border based on the height of my screen. Now this isn't revolutionary in CSS because you can use media queries and style queries to create similar effects, but this is really nice because now you can do it all inside of one selector and inside of one single property. Now to use this if syntax, all you need to do is you need to write out the word if followed by a parenthesis and a closing parenthesis, and then inside of here you write all your individual if statements. Now you can do lots of different things such as a media query and a style query, which are the two most common. And as you can see in the bottom example here, we have a media query where we're checking if the height is less than or equal to 700 pixels. Then we put a colon and then we put the value we want. This can be any value you want. We're just using a custom value of small. Same thing here, media query for less than a thousand. And then if you have just an else condition that you want to check, you can put that inside of else with that colon and then whatever the value is going to be. Now, the important thing to note is you must end each one of these statements with a semicolon. And that's how CSS knows that this constitutes one if statement. And it always goes from top to bottom. So first we check this top one. If it's true, we return small. If it's not, we move to the next one and so on until we find one that returns true or we get to this else condition at the end. Now, when we check a style syntax, you can see here we're doing a style to check this specific dash dash BP property, which is this custom breakpoint property we create. And we're just checking for those values, small, medium, and then an else condition here. You can also combine together different queries if you want. For example, up here, we could have a media query at the top section that's going to return, you know, solid or something like that. If we wanted, we could throw in these media queries, combine them with style queries and have lots of different if and if else checks throughout our entire code. Now, if you want to see more about this property, as well as some of the more advanced use cases for it, I'll link a full video at the bottom of the screen that you can check out.